Wow, what a game at Turf Moor. It has just finished at Turf Moor. Burnley 2, West Bromwich Albion 1. And to be honest, I think a very, very good game of football, in my opinion. Um, I think, in my opinion, I think a game of two halves. I think West Brom started very well, um, to be honest. You know, they obviously got the goal um, from the corner. What minute, what minute was it in? Let me check. And also they got the goal seven, on, in the seventh minute. Corner played into the box. And then obviously Donald Thurlong was there to head home and put uh, West Brom in front. And then West Brom, they made it a bit difficult for Burnley. And um, West Brom sat back, made it difficult for Burnley, made Burnley move the ball around. Burnley were just trying to think of ideas how to get the ball into the box. But but to be honest, you know, Burnley, I don't think they were very happy um, with the referee, Jared Gillett. They could have had a few penalties. Um, I think Burnley should have had a penalty than them in themselves. I think near, near the end uh, of the first half, but second half, I think Burnley were absolutely outstanding. And I think I just I just knew at some point that West Brom defence would be broken, and it was in the last fifteen minutes. A free ball played into former Southampton man Nathan Teller, um, who came out, who obviously free ball. Um, being all the defenders, slotting at home past Alex Palmer. I think Alex Palmer could have done a bit better. Maybe could have come on at the angle. A bit more difficult for Taylor Bozzi. I think Nutmegged him or something, of course. Made it 2-1. And then, of course, um, Burnley awarded a free kick. A free kick. And what a, and what a goal from Scott Twine, the former MK Dons man. Honestly, what a goal from him. And the... Uh, West Brom, you know, they were a bit too slow at the end and Burnley wanted to go on and get a third. But obviously a big result for Burnley as they are now... They are now five points clear of Sheffield United and 19 clear of Watford in third. And wow, who, who is going to win the league? Who, who honestly can stop Burnley at the moment? Sheffield United... To be honest, you know, when Burnley and Sheffield United just keep winning, you know, Burnley and Sheffield United just keep winning, you know. I think them two, I think, I think we all know that is going to be Burnley and Sheffield United top two. It probably will be Burnley first, Sheffield United second. Because Burnley at the moment are just brilliant. And, you know, obviously Sheffield United also played tonight. They won 1-0 against Hull. I didn't watch the game, but I saw Sheffield United's goal. Good football, to be fair, from Sheffield United. Obviously, I think it was... Jebison he scored. Um but yeah obviously for West Brom they are sixth at the moment and uh if they would have won today they would have gone up to third which which uh would have got them away from the likes of Norwich, um L Norwich, Millwall, Luton, Sunderland and you know they would have gone above Blackburn, Middlesbrough and Watford. Obviously Watford play Rotherham tomorrow. Blackburn play who do Blackburn play tomorrow? Blackburn have got Bristol City tomorrow, whilst Middlesbrough play on Sunday in the Tez Weir derby against Sunderland. But, yeah, but, you know, West Brom now, obviously, they are on. Obviously, West Brom are on 41 points. And, you know, you've got Norwich, Millwall, and Luton on 39. You've got, wait, 38, 39, 41. Wait, 37, 38, 39, 40. Who's, who's that on 37? QPR. So, yeah. Um, so, West Brom, you know. Norwich, Mill. Where well, you've got Norwich, you've got Coventry tomorrow. Millwall. Obviously, you've got Millwall. They've got... Who have Millwall got tomorrow? Cardiff. Millwall have got Cardiff. Luton have got... Um, Luton have got Wigan. Oh, that should be an easy win for Luton. Wigan are awful. Um, and Sunderland obviously play on Sunday. And Swansea have got Queen's Park Rangers tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but West Brom, you know, need a few teams to help them out a bit. Um, but yeah, but to be honest, I think it was a good game of football. If I had to give a man of the match performance for me, I'm going to give it to Anna Sayuri. Most of Burnley's chances came came from him and came down the left hand side. He was really busy tonight, um, but but yeah. Anyway, obviously West Brom, obviously both Burnley and West Brom 
Now focus on the FA Cup. West Brom have got an all-championship game at Ashton Gate against Bristol City, whilst Burnley are away at high-flying Ipswich Town. Obviously, Ipswich, you know, Kieran McKenna. It's going well at Ipswich at the moment. That could be a really good game, in my opinion. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now. So, yeah, adios.